What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. We're talking XP reward path. We're going to hop right into this one, break it all down, look at all the new content. It's going to be very direct. Make sure if you guys enjoy this, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new on the road to 20k. We're hoping to get there before on Friday. I know we can do it, so subscribe for tips, gameplays, pack openings, and everything in between. So here we go. The XP reward path you see a little hint of the five level 100 guys and you see it is going to be very similar there's a gear up pack but also the evolution players which we're going to talk about in just a minute here are the low level cards that you're going to see the legends and flashbacks a 90 speed craig bgo as a primary catcher that is absolutely insane and he will have the catcher secondary if you are wondering then we have some other cards. We have a reliever Vita Blue, which is pretty interesting. He has a very disgusting windup with 41 stamina. We have a lot of cards. A Babe Ruth. This one is a pitcher rookie version. And quickly do want to note XP is going to work very similarly. I will have a video talking about the best way to get it. But the tiers and everything in the XP reward path is going to work exactly the same as it did last year. Tons of legends. This stuff is all going to be sellable once again. And we have a hitter Babe Ruth available uh, once again. So this stuff is just so jam-packed. It is hard to even keep my head straight. The evolution cards. This is a big reveal we talked about. This is going to work very similarly to the rookie to prime cards. So you're going to have four available right here. Yvonne Rodriguez, Dennis Eckersley, Eddie Matthew, and Carlos Gonzalez. You pick one of these players and it's going to unlock a program. From there, you have, stati you have moments that you're going Going to do not statistical missions so it is not going to be that annoying grind like it was back in the day they will be different moments centered around these players you do those moments and you're going to get a diamond version of these cards so it is really really cool this is not the only place you're going to find evolution cards and these four are the only ones that they showed for sure in the xp reward path it looks like those are going to be the only ones that we see within there being it looks like there is four packs within the program one you get a bronze one you get it silver one you get a gold and one you get a diamond and those are non-sellable you are not going to be able to sell those cards we have a gold flashback and legends pack right here this one is specifically going to be pitchers these ones once again you are going to sell the only things you cannot sell are just like last year the level 100 guys the level 80 guys and the evolution players anything from a pack you can sell and these flashbacks you can sell again we have a david price a cliff lee always nice to see the new card art which is no stranger to mlb the show 20 for christ's sakes and then a bunch of hitters we have a chipper jones right here uh switch hitter he's going to be available very early on quick thing to note once again these are going to be pretty easy to get to especially if you grind heavy to start out the year it's not going to be too difficult to get to these cards they're going to be pretty straightforward and yeah just a ton of choices mookie bets we have miguel cabrera from the uh, Florida Marlins almost slipped up and said Miami uh, but yeah like tons of choices right there here we have something really interesting classics from MLB the show's past this is something I know a lot of people have been suggesting as a new content feature and if they didn't have enough card types this year they added another one and this is just so cool cards from the past that people used to love using in MLB the show are going to make a return this year in MLB the show 20 and they're going to have the exact same card out we have an Adalberto Mondesi a Charlie Morton a Victor Robles there are, I believe, five within this pack right here. I assume they're probably going to add more. I think it is going to be a very good reason to. A lot of people were so excited in the Twitch chat once they revealed this off. Um, we have a you know future star Victor Robles, which I really like that card from MLB 18. We have the Gary Sanchez from MLB The Show 17. They're not going to include cards from last year in MLB The Show 19, which is interesting, but I completely get it, obviously. 101, 102 power from Gary Sanchez, right? 
right away. Um, so once again, these cards, you're going to earn pretty early on in the XP reward path. And a big thing I want people to note, this game, while it did receive a bunch of content, it has a lot of new card types. Do not get it confused with Madden or 2K because most of everything that you see that's new, you can earn without spending a single dime. The stuff they showed in packs were very, very lower on in overall. And those are still guaranteed packs where you're guaranteed a diamond or something. So I just wanted to make that clear. I don't want anybody to try and say that MLB The Show is falling to the dark side as far as microtransactions goes. That is not the case. But we move on. We see a gold live series player right there as we saw last year. If you get that early on, it could go for a good amount of stubs around like four or five K. If you get a guy that could go diamond, um, you know, like a Juan Soto, a JD Martinez. So that's a very good pack once again right there. You're going to see a bunch of little stuff once again, like the silver and bronze flashback and legends. That's a choice pack. I believe you're going to have two different rounds. And then the show 20 pack, that's going to be the regular pack in the game. I haven't saw any definitive evidence whether or not there are two separate packs, a standard pack and a the show pack. I haven't seen one yet. Hopefully it's just the show packs. Here we have a diamond legend. We're going to see some more stuff it looks like they went by that because we have somebody pretty interesting within there um then the high diamond at level 80 this is where we saw clayton kershaw nolan ryan uh trevor hoffman some really good players and we're gonna see some really good guys within here as well all of this new card type signature series is revamped and we have new I want to call them hardware cards because they're available for anything from Silver Slugger, MVP to Cy Young. And we see Corey Kluber, uh, that is uh, Hal Newhauser right here for the Signature Series card. I really like the new variation. It's going to be harder for me to make custom cards, but I do think it looks really nice. It looks really clean. They said a big focus of them while they did like having the Signature cards being there for variation and different um you can you have a lot of good options to field out there but they didn't want all the cards to look the same at end game and that's not going to happen this Corey kluber the card art looks so good i can't even stress it anything the designers at mlb the show put their hands on as far as card art goes i always love there's been nothing that i've said that's ugly this is awesome this Corey kluber looks great 105 hit nine high k9 in the 100s once again i do want to note home run per nine does not affect gameplay online so if you guys were curious it does not raleigh fingers a closing pitcher 40 stamina 111 k9 96 walk nine this card is going to have to be on my team i loved him in 19 i can only imagine what he's gonna do this time we have a new york yankees ricky henderson something awesome to see still 99 speed of course and then this willie mccovey who was i believe uh he wasn't the battle royale flawless card that was a 99 overall but 116 power versus right he's going to pack an absolute punch so a big pack right there as you see and it only is gonna get bigger with the level silver one technically i call it the 100 pack we have five great options we have reggie jackson barry larkin ryan sandberg mini mimoso and mvp buster posey once again you can see a new card art type where you have the prime where it pretty much takes the tops card and almost frames it in a way if you were to get a card minted or evaluated evaluated um it just looks so good good like i said i can't stress enough how good the art team and design team has done with these cards they look phenomenal and they're going to be very good obviously if you're new to the system of the xp reward path you're going to have five or rather four of these packs once you get to diamond 100 you're going to be able to choose two of them but you don't have to spend a dime on the game to get these cards you just have to play you just have to earn xp and you're going to be able to get every single one of these ryan sandberg diamond defense 80 speed with a primary or uh, third base secondary as well it is going to stay the same you have to play the majority of a season to get a secondary position as they were talking about at this point so as long as even if you played one year where you primarily played at a different position so miguel cabrera his best card will have a third base secondary if it isn't his primary when he won his triple crown but 104 113 contact and mid 80s power for ryan sandberg he's going to be amazing one of the best second base 
Beastman that is going to be in the game with 80 speed as well. Barry Larkin, 86 fielding, 86 speed, 98 stealing, 113 contact, and 104 power versus lefties. So he's going to hit some bombs as well in 108 vision. This card looks phenomenal. Not quite diamond defense to get the diamond shield in game, which is still at a 90 fielding threshold, but he should be really good. And I'm always a big fan of Barry Larkin's swing, so he's going to be another really good option. None of these are bad choices. Of course, I'll make a video talking about who I would pick first. Um, really, I haven't gotten a close look at all of these guys' stats so far. Mr. October, 110, 115 splits versus righties, 101 power left. 68 fielding is not the best, but 80 arm strength is still pretty solid with 71 speed. Mini Mimoso over here, really like the card art on this one. 114, 110 contact, 80 and 73 power, 122 near maxed out vision, 87 fielding with a left field primary can play anywhere in the outfield and third base with 87 speed. And then finally, this MVP Buster Posey card looks so good. Like I said, I know it seems like I'm orgasming, which I somewhat am over these cards, but they just look so nice. I can't put it in any other way. 125, 112 splits versus lefties. Amazing amazing 89 fielding 95 blocking with the new system in place that is going to be so so good afterwards we're going to see the same recycle packs within there and you're going to have a chance to get all of these cards so if you picked cargo your first time in the evolution pack next time you can get yvonne rodriguez so i really like that how they always give you a chance to get all of these players and of course once again these cards are non-sellable the evolution guys the classic um the 100 level guys the uh the buster posies are unsellable as well as the ones at bronze 80 those are not able to be sold and here's another look at the evolution cards we're gonna get a closer glimpse at how you are going to be able to obtain them and it is pretty cool like i said it's not going to be a mindless stat grinding versus the computer. You can see a couple other spoilers. I'm going to have another video later on talking about the other stuff that they talked about. Team Affinities, um, Conquest, T Tim Tebow, a lot of stuff. But here we go. Moments is going to be where you get things done. And it's just moments. That's the only thing you're going to have to do. And you get Team Affinities done as well. Um, you get Team Affinity packs that are going to help you out to complete those, to complete collections and i just love it so much it's all based around missions and moments um which is nice so it's going to be pretty easy here you see tally five uh tally strikeouts with relievers is going to be 15 these are uh missions so these can be done online or offline depending on what it says specifically and you can just do that while you're playing ranked you can do that while you're playing conquest and you're going to get those done without even knowing it and also remember that those uh that these do pop up after you complete them and it's going to show your progress and after game rewards here we have dennis Eckersley, 108 walk nine is insane for a 93 overall card and once again this is non-sellable neither is the ver uh the first version that you're going to get of them here's another one we have an eddie matthews they're not going to show the moments but they it's the same way you're going to be able to obtain them 105 power versus right he's looking very nice if you want to get a closer glimpse i don't want to make this video you 30 minutes long uh, but if you want to see the statistics more close make sure and pause the video or take a screenshot here of carlos gonzalez 104 and 94 contact 73 speed 93 arm strength is going to be so nice especially if you can hit the perfect throw meter on the throw home indicator it's going to be so amazing and then finally we're going to round it out with yvonne rodriguez 83 84 contact 90 diamond fielding 85 blocking 69 speed so well rounded that's gonna be the xp reward path and mlb the show 20 let me know down in the comments section your favorite thing you saw right here who are you going to go for in the level 100 pack let me know in the comment section if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like down below hope you guys have a great day thank you all for watching hope you uh bye <laughs>